Hi, my name's Emma. I'm one of the tissue viability nurses here at the University Hospitals Plymouth and this video is going to be all about wound care assessment. Now wound care assessment is really quite difficult and it depends on the different types of wounds that can after, often make it quite challenging. So I'm going to show you a really easy acronym so that when you get faced with any wound you should be able to know what to do. So it's called the time assessment. So time stands for various different things and when you go through each of the different stages you'd be able to work out what type of dressing you need to do. So for any wound you must assess it regardless of where it is. So I'm going to introduce Seawar again to us. So he's got a lovely wound here to his sacrum. So we always think when we're looking at a wound we're always obsessed with looking at the depth of something but actually when you look at a wound it's about looking at the whole of the patient and not just the hole in the patient. So looking about what's caused the wound. So for instance, we know that this has been caused by a pressure ulcer, but if it was a burn or if it was a leg ulcer, the time framework will work for anyone. So when we're looking at the time framework, the first letter we're looking for is tissue. Now the tissue basically stands for whether we think it's healthy or not healthy. So if we look at Seymour again here, do we think the tissue is healthy or not healthy? So do I need to debride it or is there any dressing that we think that might need to protect the tissues? So when we look at uh, Seymour here, we can see that actually he's got lovely red pink granulation tissue. So he's got nice healthy tissue. However, there are areas of unhealthy tissue. So you've got some sluffy tissue here and you've got some areas of necrosis. So this wound bed has a mixed etiology. So it's areas that are healthy and areas that are not healthy. So when we're doing a wound care assessment, it's quite handy to work out in percentages. So you can say maybe 70% of the wound is granulating and maybe 20% of the wound is sloughy and then for the next person they'd know how the wound has changed over time. Um, and when we're, again, when we're looking at the wound, it's really important to actually assess the whole of the wound. So inside your packing boxes comes this lovely probe. Um, and we always want to check the depth. So that it has little numbers on the side here. So it'll tell you how deep the wound is. Also, you can the edges are really important. So you can track all the way around the wound. And you can see whether or not it's tunnelling. So wounds never just have one depth. Often they tend to track underneath. Particularly if it's like a surgical wound, they can track down. So for instance, Seymour's goes down by five centimetres. So now we know that we've got lovely tissue here, but we want to choose a dressing that might help debride those tissues there. Then what we want to look at is infection. Are there any signs of infection? So think about what your signs of infection are. So is there redness? Is there erythema, pain? increased exudate or is the exudate quite green um, is it quite odorous on Seymour here there was no signs of that so if there is signs of infection think about using dressings that are going to uh, combat the infection so um, something that's just going to help treat the infection then M stands for moisture is the wound wet or dry? So if the wound is too dry, then it means sometimes it won't always heal. So a wound can only heal if it's under a moist wound care environment. And in the same way, if it's too wet, the wound won't always heal. So when we look at this wound, we want to see whether or not we think it's wet or dry. So this area here is quite dry, so we might want to use a dressing here that's going to uh, help wet that uh, necrosis of but the actual wound bed itself is quite wet so we might, might want to use a super absorber over the top to help control the exudate management and then finally edges now the edges are really important particularly when it comes to a surgical wound or actually a pressure ulcer uh, because with an edge we can work out whether the edges are rolled whether we're concerned sometimes if an edge is quite rolled it might mean that there's a sign of infection but what it also might mean is that it's quite a chronic wound as opposed to a new wound so again your probe is really important here so you want to go around the edges and see whether or not it's tunneling in any other way um, and just measure how deep anything is Make sure, where possible, you can take a snap image if your patient consents and then those images can be uploaded onto the patient's database so we can review the, pay the pictures. Thank you very much for watching the videos. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at Tissue Viability. We've also got really good links on our website. There's also really good links on the trust page for pressure ulcer prevention. So if you have any questions, please contact. Thank you very much for watching.